What's going on folks, welcome to another video, codename Love One Nick Reflex. So, this is a topic that um, all the NPCs and the Patriot fucktards are all up in arms about. And um, I'm going to make a few comments from my own inner standing, inner knowing. And just what I've actually noticed myself seeing these individuals walking around my country, my land, my land, Albion, the British Isles, yeah, so these are, I'm talking about obviously if you didn't realise there's something like, uh, I did have the figures. I'm just going to go off the top of my head. I had the figures. It's between 450 and 750 hotels across the country, all across the country and in Ireland, that are housing tens of thousands. I wish I had the figure. Many thousands. If it's not in the tens of thousands, it's many, many thousands. I would probably say it was ten, ten plus thousand. They're not telling us the right, the real figures anyway. Um, of mostly fighting age male men from places like Afghanistan, Iran, various places. Um, and I'm going to say that all, if not all, but many of them are soldiers. They're here to fight. Now, I've witnessed just being in supermarkets, for instance, I was down in, I can tell you where I was, I was down in a place called Helston in Cornwall. Nearly the furthest you can go south. Nearly the Lizard Point, almost. Not far, 10 miles away, yeah? Helston's, Tesco's, supermarket. And I was just sitting there minding my own business in the Costa Coffee section using, you know, doing some work. And I had a bird's eye view of the shop floor. And I witnessed with my own eyes groups of Afghanistani men in pairs. They were either in pairs or threes so mostly pairs two of them and they were just doing their normal shopping and i must have seen 15 to 20 of these individuals they also um i will say many of the ones i witnessed were possibly russian or ukrainian probably ukrainian they're probably like ukrainian refugees or some bullshit again most likely soldiers um they were definitely from eastern europe shall we say and i'm going to say russia or somewhere like that you can tell in their facial features now obviously obviously there's a war in ukraine you you would you would ask yourself well why are the why are they, if they're soldiers why are they not fighting in the war most of the soldiers are fighting in the war because that's a meat grinder and that is how the elites depopulate the earth, right? And that is it's a blood blood ritual, blood sacrifice, it's a satanic ritual, okay? Uh, if you wanted any, any more proof than that, you needed to be marked for death in a satanic ritual, just like a uniform, you need to be marked. That mark is the badge or the stripes that you're wearing. You're marked for death. It's a satanic ritual and you've consented to take part in that satanic ritual as a soldier. They haven't given you full disclosure and told you this is a satanic ritual you're taking part in. What they have told you is you need to fight for your country. Bullshit, mate. It's fucking... They're pedophiles. The people that run the country are fucking satanists, pedophiles. Draco. Fucking scum. Demons. Right? So you're fighting a war for these fucking demons. Anyway, I digress. Back to the migrants. 
They're soldiers, mate. I've witnessed them. They've been given their orders. They've been given their orders and they're staying in these hotels and they're probably on a wage. And the wage is to everyone else. Oh, it's, a, you know, benefits. You, you receive benefits when you come here. No, they're on a wage, mate. It's a low wage. It's a minimum wage. But from nothing to, I don't know, a hundred pound a week or something, that's a lot of money. I've also witnessed these so-called Muslim men buying crates of beer. I've witnessed videos of them literally cleaning the shelves out uh, of London Tesco's and other places while the security guards are stood there saying, no, don't take that. Obviously, the security can't touch them. But these are fucking Muslim men. Groups of four. I've seen I've seen the videos, mate. And they, they can't do fuck all. They're in the alcohol aisle stealing bottles of vodka. Okay? So these fuckwits are evil. They're evil, alcohol-drinking fuckwits who are working for the state. They are like a sleeper cell. Now, with my own eyes today, I, w I witnessed, I can see evil. I can see it. Evil was sitting on a bench, staring at me. I'm sat there, minding my own business. I look over and he's staring at me. The evil in his eyes, right? I was like, well, he's not from here, is he? He ain't from fucking Cornwall. Where's he from? I seen him get with his friend, two of them, in a taxi they called a taxi, so they've got enough money for a taxi. Have you any idea how much fucking taxis cost back to the hotel? 20 quid, let's say. Probably 20 quid, something. So it could be a few of them have all chipped in. Now, I saw what they had in their shopping cart. This particular pair, this was today, they had bottle, large bottles of water, two crates of Budweiser, they had bananas. They had some other stuff in there as well. But a whole basket was just drinks. Huge, bar a basket full of huge bottles of water. Probably because they don't drink the tap water. They've figured out not to drink the tap water, yeah? So they're buying bottles of water into their hotels. They're, they're also bringing crates of Budweiser beer so they can sit around drinking. Yeah. These people see the culture here. They've been here for three, three years. In these hotels, mate. Out of the public eye. They've been given orders, because they're soldiers, not to do anything to arouse suspicion. It gets deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole, mate, I'm telling you. So, the guy that stared at me, he was probably 23 or 24. Afghanistan, I'm going to say. Um, he had, like, green eyes, coffee-coloured skin. And as he was getting in the taxi, I saw a tattoo on his arm. Guess what the tattoo was of? He had no other tattoos on him. He had one tattoo on the inside of his arm, just by his elbow. It was a tattoo of what looked like an AK-47 rifle in black. It was a assault rifle or an AR-15, whatever it was. It was an assault rifle tattooed on the inside of his arm. Now, you're fucking telling me they're not soldiers, mate. You need to wake the fuck up. Something is all coming around the corner. The satanic pedophile government have already put things in position. Uh, by doing so, moving 10,000 plus migrants into hotel rooms across the country. For what purpose? For what purpose? Is civil war coming? Is World War Three coming? Is there going to be other sanctions? You know, what better way to corral the weak, spineless, fucktarded 
football watching retarded English people. It's not just the English, the British people mostly. Weak fucking slaves. What better to control them by having armed Afghani and black men on the streets? Oh, UN troops. Do you think British men are going to fucking rise up against these guys? A select few, possibly. A select few. Not many, I can guarantee you. They're weak, mate. Weak, spineless fucking individuals. Beer drinking, kebab eating, fucktards. So this is a prediction, and this is, you know... I've been talking about this for a year. Other people have been talking about this as well. I'm not the only one talking about the migrants staying in hotels. There's some down in Newquay. They're everywhere. They're in every pretty pretty much big town. So you go to any town in this country, I'm sure you'll find a hotel that's been commandeered by the government to house these soldiers. And that's what they are, people. And you need to be looking at them like an invading army. OK, that is what they are. I'm telling you that's what they are. So be aware, be prepared, know what they are. They're not your fucking friends, mate. They're not here to assimilate or integrate into society. They're a fucking invading foreign force working for a satanic pedophile, Holy Roman Empire government. which has one agenda, which has multiple agendas, but one of them is depopulation of the earth to under 700,000 or under 1 billion, right? Or uh, 1 million, sorry. So just bear that in mind. Once you know what the agenda is, then it all makes sense. The food poisoning, the chemtrails, all of it. The, oh, the war in Ukraine, the, the World War Three that's on the fucking brink, blah, blah, blah. The civil unrest. Oh, Trump gets assassinated by whatever, mate, PSYOP. Oh, civil unrest, civil war, you know, civil war in America, World War Three. People, watch these events now play out on the fucking theatre, the stage. Yeah? Except... Except souls, or the soulless, will die. People die. Yeah? They're not fucking around. They're not playing games. So, 